Hi viewers, today here to see the ref keyword in uh, Shisha. So here, uh, what is the use of ref keyword we are going to discuss. See, normally if you possess a parameter, you can uh, use a, like a opt optional parameter kind of, you can assign the value. But with the reference value, you can go and assign some default values like this. So int i declared val val equal to 1. So that value I just referenced that in um, the method which I called here, I just go on to change my reference uh, value to adding the 44 and returning me the 45 the finally my value is changing in this method so normally you have two types of uh, keyword that doing the same actions uh, called one more is out parameter that I already told you how to use it out parameter is uh, it's a different actually you have to mm, initialize one uh, parameter and you need to send to the uh, query execution that will return you some output that value hold and it will return me uh, return us back but reference value is different you can commonly you can initialize those values and you can pass to any parameter that will be remain same until if you are not doing any actions in that method what you are calling an intermediate like this so reference is very useful that you can um, uh, want to hold the value uh, see I want to do some operation here that initialization data that I am adding here instead of using the parameter I can assign and uh, with reference I can uh, add like this and uh, if that parameter you want to change anything that you can change it automatically it will assign to the value so uh, so from the next line of uh, uh, records it will automatically whatever the value suppose I have here one method that I am assigning the value 1 the second method I am changing finally my output is 45 so here I no need to uh, do much operation that value I need to create one more uh, integer type and uh, that uh, type I need to process a parameter then I need to push that method and get the return back so lot of uh, avoiding unnecessary stuff so this is come up with very clean code so by using the reference you can achieve this so I on the rest of the mouse pointer over I to verify that so if I run this code you can see that mm, so on mouse over we can verify what is the initialization value the following statement mm, where this is unboxed unbo uh, object so after you mouse over you will get the result back so let me go and keep the breakpoint console.read key my system is building so be, this is the first time I'm just building uh, so it's take bit time okay fine so I got uh, builder I just running this in a console application so let me go and uh, step into that so now my value is uh, 1 so here also you will able to get the same result so here I keep the breakpoint okay now if you see i equal to 1 value equal also 1 so um, on step out so now my i is uh, changed but here so now i got a uh, error like this why because my values got changed that has to be assigned so now see after my reference uh, uh, data return me back so again my value is changed and it's updated um, to the value 45 because on runtime uh, here if it is once you enter in this method this I will uh, get uh, cleared out so because uh, maybe some operation we able to do so I am going to clear this value if it not it will return the same data as it is so that is what the action so that is what I mentioned in the second point so would cause the completion error if I were the boxed as an object because I am boxing as an object so that's what the issue is Hako. so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment in the comment section if you are not subscribed to get more updates, please subscribe our channel to get updates.